think I'm on the road to redemption. I am a firm believer in honesty. I grew up really hard. There were times when I'd go to bed hungry and wake up starving. Single mom, working three jobs, staying at home at seven years old, trying to take care of my brother, changing diapers, feeding him. I mean, it was, it was pretty tough growing up. I made some mistakes that cost me a few years of my life. When I re-entered society, I was really scared. I had been searching for employment for months, and I can't tell you how discouraging it is to hear people say they're willing to pay you $8 an hour. Amassed a, a huge amount of debt. I was behind on my child support. And not to mention, if I were to take one of these jobs through transportation costs and child support alone, I would end up with about $11 left over at the end of the week and I wouldn't get anywhere. I used my time to really work on myself while I was away. I was very fortunate that I had a lot of support from people within the system. I actually finished all my programs in record time. PTTI had posted a position for administrative role for the manufacturing and automation department. Sherman and Joe called me in for an interview and I'll, uh, I'll never forget it. Uh, five minutes from the door, a bird just messed all over my pants. I heard that's a sign of good luck, but uh, it seemed really embarrassing at the time. We went over my background, which took a while because it's pretty extensive. He wasn't willing to let my technical background get away. So they offered me a position as a tech working on a lot of the equipment around here. It was only a few months that had passed by, they started to take notice on the way that I interacted with the students. And they liked it, you know, I seemed approachable. It seemed like people could identify with me. I've sort of been through the system. I know how hard the judicial system comes down on African Americans in general. You know, I've seen it firsthand. And these kids that come here, I really admire their courage. For these guys to, to step up and say, hey, I want to become a productive member of society, I can't imagine how much courage it takes to break out of that cycle that could possibly have been going on for generations. I have just the, the utmost admiration and respect for these kids that come in here. I try not to get too personal, but they always know they can come to me if they have an issue or if they need extra help or if something's going on at home and they need somebody to talk to, you know, I'm there. All it's gonna take is that one good job. I'm really proud to be a part of this organization. I'm proud and honored that Sherman saw something in me at a time where not many people did. In a way, I, I feel like he gave me a second chance at life. the way for a lot of good things to happen and I feel like here I've I found direction it sort of feels like a chance at redemption it's my chance to give something back to society I myself uh, am a living message of hope that no matter what your record is you know, no matter what your circumstances are, somebody is going to open that door for you. Just seeing a person like me who has a troubled past and I have some scars in my background, you know, I am a prime example that there is hope.